hey guys we're back with another video and today i'm gonna invite you to spend some time with me while we look into a day in the life of a software developer and yeah it's still early in the morning so i just woke up and i'm gonna wash my face and brush my teeth and just get ready for the day so come with me i'm done preparing and i'm ready to roll if you're new to the channel, please just subscribe and if you like to see more of these videos, just leave a comment and just like the video there. I start my day by having a meeting with my team and we look at different projects and different tasks within those specific projects and look at the deadlines and look at things that we're going to be working on. For that specific day and start assigning responsibilities to one another they say that a way into a man's heart is through providing him with some nice food for me the way to my heart is by providing me with that nice coffee i'm a lover for nice coffee so after my meeting i'm gonna make some coffee and prepare for the next meeting because i have another meeting just immediately after this one so here i'm currently in a meeting with a client and presenting feedback on one of the products that we've been working on so what happens here is that the client now will look at what we're presenting and the product that we've worked on and they will suggest some changes or ask some questions and clarity and will align on the things that we need to do or what we need to change or what we need to implement on So here i'm done with my meeting and i'm currently doing some admin work this involves going through emails responding to some of the emails sending out emails sending out communication and some of the other mediums of communication that we use internally and just communicating and doing confirmation with some of the clients So once I'm done with communications and everything, I now start planning my day in a matter of priority with regards to what I need to start working on, focusing on and plan each task that I need to complete for the day. Yeah, I'm back into another meeting and here I'm just giving feedback on the projects that I've been working on and now we're looking into another new project that we need to work on sometime in the week and what happens is that now we need to map up the scope of what the project is going to look like who's going to be working on the project and how long is it going to take us to complete the project and what resources are we going to need in order for us to be able to complete the the project So I'm done with my second meeting for the day. I'm going to go and quickly get breakfast. Just want to get something to eat. And yeah, see you on the other side. <laughs> so I went out too early to go and grab breakfast. I didn't check my calendar very well. I had a meeting at that time that I didn't see. So I had to attend that meeting using my phone as you can see at the bottom of the screen there and 
yeah, but anyway, everything went well. We are back home and yeah i'm having muesli and yogurt for breakfast while pushing some code into github so i'm still enjoying my breakfast and i am done committing my changes into github and now I will focus on doing some work and just finishing up some of the stuff that I need to finish. I will see you guys in a moment. So yeah guys as you can see that my hair doesn't doesn't look yeah doesn't look that thing so i need to quickly go and get a haircut and yeah i'm gonna take you with me see you on the other side so i forgot that today is a national shutdown and that means most shops aren't gonna open and as you can see here, my saloon and most of the other shops are closed. So I'm not going to cut my hair today. Um, yeah, EFF wasn't lying. The country is on a standstill. Nothing is happening, as you can see. So yeah, I'm going to go back home and continue working. As you might have noticed earlier on the video that there was a men's size lunch bar and a top deck chocolate on the table but now the lunch bar is gone so i had to kind of console myself and give myself a pat on the back because i couldn't cut my hair and i ate that anyway i'm working from home today and yeah working from home has got its own advantages and disadvantages disadvantages could be that if you are not well disciplined it could be problematic with regards to you having to complete your tasks 
and also you know because you've got a lot of time you can always do other things like moving around a lot because you know when you're at home you always want to eat so that time that you spend by standing from your table standing up from your leaving your table and go get something to eat there could be problematic and yeah the other good things is that you know you you are in a more relaxed environment and you get to do a lot like for me for instance i get to do a lot because i tend to speak a lot and i want to go to other people's offices or desks and start chatting and that could be a bit destructive and when you are home it's much better because you're just alone there that's for me and i get to accomplish a lot of tasks within a set given period of time so that's something that you need to kind of consider when you take a job that is fully remote um and also you know having to take a job and it, which is based in an office because you need to look at the work environment there you need to look at the working culture there's a couple of things that you need to be um you know that you need to check and look into because it could affect or it could build you know your productivity around that It's lunch time and because I cook, I grabbed food out of the fridge, warmed them up and I'm busy enjoying my lunch while looking at some YouTube videos and doing some reading um, and checking out social media before I get back to work again. So that's basically how my day looks like when i'm working from home that's all i do every day all day when i'm working from home and now because i am done it i've knocked off and i just decided to do another video and also just work on an application that i will maybe share a video with you guys and taking you through how i've built the application what apis i've used and all that information that you need to know with regards to building a web application and integrating or using apis to pull information from other third party platforms so yeah i will see you guys next time please remember if you haven't su subscribed hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified when i upload new content and please leave me a comment at the bottom with regards to any other questions that you might have and any feedback that you have for me.